Greetings everyone, this is my brand new channel, Lady Gardenia's Magic and Tarot. Today we're delving into the topic, who do you need to cut out of your life or remove from your life? In pile one, we have the tiger's eye and the amulet of bast in the shape of a cat. She is a goddess. In pile two, the desert rose and an amulet in the shape of a cornucopia, which represents abundance. In this pile, pile three, we have a pyrite or fool's gold and an amulet in the shape of a dragon. One, two, three. Pause if necessary to choose your pile. Use your intuition. The timestamps for each pile is in the description box of this video. See you in a bit. Hello again. Whoever chose pile number one with the um, tiger's eye and the Egyptian goddess Bast, whose body is in the shape of a cat, who should you cut out or remove from your life? We have from Dreams of Gaia Tarot. Number 12, the scribe. We have the seven earth wands, eight of wands, the fool. Hmm. Okay, so, so far, it seems to me that you used to um, message this person or talk to this person. Um, yeah. Uh, on a daily basis. This could be a relative, a friend, a lover, an ex-lover. Here with the seven of wands. I think you have blocked this person on your mobile phone or they have blocked you. Here, Major Arcana Zero, the Fool. This is someone you trust or used to trust. With the scribe, this could also be someone who you used to work with or still work with. Ooh, five of swords. Okay, so as you can see in this card from the beautiful Tarot Lanui, this is someone you had an argument with or some sort of disagreement. It seems to me that words were exchanged between you and this person and these words might have not been very nice. Ten of Pentacles in the Osho Zintero. You might have been in a relationship with this person or still are in a relationship with this person, I mean a non-platonic relationship. You might have a family with this person or this could be a relative of yours, someone in your family. It could also be someone you went to school with or someone you know from your childhood. Ace of Wands. So. And we have one, two, three, four candles, which reminds me of the four of wands. 
family, friend, someone in, you used to be in a relationship with. Six of Swords, some of you, not all of you, um, have moved away from this person. Either yes. Oh, and notice another thing. We have here a sequence, five of swords followed by the six of swords, which makes me feel that there was some sort of argument or dis disagreement between you and this person, and you left, you took off and left, or they did, or both of you actually. I see someone getting in their car and just leaving after having a major fight or, or argument with this person. I want to know another viewer. You got uh, into a plane or onto your motorbike and left. You might have moved to a different city, state, country in the meantime, where you have had a brand new beginning. If this was someone you used to be in a relationship with, I mean a love relationship with, you have started a new. Yes, you have started a new life somewhere away from this person and you have this person blocked. Oh. This is card 28 in the Lenormand. The man. To me, this is representation of the divine masculine. Now, don't get me um, wrong. Um, this could be a man, but this could also be a woman who has strong masculine energy. And for some of you, this can be someone who has strong Aries in the chart. Why? Because whenever I look at this card, it reminds me of Major Arcana number four, the Emperor. The number 28 might be of significance to you. And yes, you see that Ace of Hearts or Ace of Cups. This is someone you used to be in a relationship with. Some of you, not all of you though. This person might be well-built, male or female. And if it's a man, they might have facial hair. So up until now, if I have described this person, continue watching. If not, pick another pile. Let's see this card, the star. Hmm. Yes, again... With Major Arcana 17, the star, I have this um, I'm picking up on someone who is at a distance from you. Either you moved or they moved. And notice something astonishing. Really, really astonishing. Look at that. Now that I've noticed this is from the Dreams of Gaia Tarot, and this is from the um, Witches Tarot. Notice, these cards were picked randomly, and I didn't see them when I shuffled and made the piles. Do you see exactly, not exactly, but the same bird? That is, um, what bird is this? Um, uh, what bird is this? This is a crane, isn't it? This is a bird that lives by the river. When editing the, this video, what I'll do is I'll research online and I'll discover the name of this bird. But th that's astonishing. Both of these birds have a long beak and they both live by the river. In Portuguese, I know the name of this um, bird is uh, a grow, grow, 
which in, port, in, in English is cream. That might be of some significance to you. Like, the B could also be of significance to you. This person might have air in their chart or strong air in their chart. Yeah, mainly Aquarius might. Why should viewer of pile number one remove or cut out this person from their life? If up until now any of this resonates, continue watching. If not, pick another pile. Please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a new video of mine. By doing so, you are also supporting my channel. In the comments section, please write what you feel or think about this video. And you could also write a suggestion for a future video of mine. What topic would you like to... Yes, what topic would you like me to delve into? Or is there any... Oh, look at that coffee cup, yeah. Look at that boat. That's also significant, I would say. Coffee cup, as I was saying, if you were not in a love relationship with this person, this was a friend. And you might know this person from when you were younger. It says meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted, friendship. This could also be a relative of yours who really, really likes coffee. I do. This I don't know why um, spirit is whispering in my ear and saying this person for some of you this person has a collection of coffee mugs cups or they like porcelain a lot this person also might have a tattoo uh, whether you were in a platonic relationship with this person or not uh, you feel or felt in the past that this was your soulmate, soul connection, partnership, agreement, soul contract. Soulmates. The golden mirror. Self-absorbed, narcissist, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Yes, what was I saying with this card um, from the Lenormand Oracle? Um, this reminds me of the Emperor, who, uh, in his shadow side, when I say his, I'm not referring to gender, but I'm referring to the figure of the Emperor, because this could also be a woman. This person, in his or her shadow side, can be quite stubborn bossy, self-absorbed, or narcissistic. They also have a domineering personality. And that's why you felt that you had to block this person. That's why we have the Seven of Wands here. And move away from this person. Notice another fantastic thing about this beautiful reading. Here, this card is from the Celtic Tarot. And... This boat reminds me of a Viking or Celtic funeral. So for some of you, this relationship is over. You're not speaking to this person anymore. Notice this is from the Island Time Wellness Oracle. Both cars are from different decks. However, both of them have a boat. 
So this person might also be into sailing or they live near a river. Oh my Lord. They live near, near a river or the sea. They live somewhere where you can find this sort of plant. River, reeds, seaweeds, rocks, and this type of bird. Oh, that could also be a stalk. Yeah. And the star card, together with both of these, I think this person knows how to sail. They can sail. If they don't practice sailing, they used to practice sailing, for some of you. They might also have a dog as a pet, or used to have a dog as a pet. This could also be a representation of you. You used to trust this person, but you don't trust this person anymore. Or else you wouldn't have here the Five of Swords and here the Seven of Wands. You also wouldn't have at least one, two, three, four, five, six cards that indicate that you had to move away from this person. There's some sort of physical distance or geographical distance between you and this person. There's also here emotional distance, I feel. Boat, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. Yes, for some of you, um, you moved away and you have started a new you have started a new life away from this person uh, the majority i feel you have moved on but some of you and that's why you are uh, watching this uh, reading you did not have closure when the two of you had this argument or fight and the separation. Yes, I feel that there was a separation here. And deep down, I feel, my dear reader, uh, my dear reader, my dear viewer, that, oh, some of you are tarot readers just like me. Um, I feel, my dear viewer, that you did not have closure and that somehow you would like to cut the cord, yeah? Why should the viewer cut this person out of their life or remove this person from their life? This is the beautiful Santa Muerte Tara, which I absolutely love. Major Arcana 7 because it's time to move on yes you yeah it's time to move on your spirit guides or ancestors want you to know that you should move away from this person and yes keep away from this person cut this person out of your life with the Sun Major Arcana 19 because you will be so much happier without this toxic energy in your life. Why should the viewer cut this person out of their life for good or remove this person from their life for good? I feel that there used to be a lot of conflict between you and this person. Look at that, two of cups. 
some of you, not all of you, used to be in a relationship with this person. Yes, and now nine of um, pentacles, you are single. And look at that, ace of wands again. For you, that's it, your spirit guides want to tell you that for you to be happy again and have this brand new beginning. Notice that ace of wands twice. For you to have this passionate brand new beginning, for you to be happy again, to overcome this obstacle, to achieve victory. What would victory be for you? It would be a brand new life without this toxic energy of this person. For you to attain this, this new beginning, yes, you should cut this person or remove this person from your life. Why? Because think about it. Out with the old, in with the new. If we still hold on to, um, yes, to um, a relationship, a person, a certain energy, uh, the stagnant energy does not allow us to um, allow, yeah, it doesn't allow us to receive new energy, new love, new friendship, a new phase in our life. And they want you to know that everything will be alright here with Major Arcana 14, the Temperance. Yes. And again, look at that. Four of Wands, as I was saying, you will achieve, again, stability, peace within your home. Four of Wands, another soulmate connection. Because I do not believe that we only have one soulmate in this life. A soulmate can be, yes, someone we have a love relationship with, but also a friendship, could be a friend, yes, a co-worker, uh, even a relative of ours. And look at that. Once you do cut out this person from your life, look what is on its way. New love with the Ace of Cups. This is also a new sense of self-love and self-respect. Once you put up these boundaries and cut the cord. And yes, Major Arcana Zero the Fool. Again, another repetition. They want you to take that great leap of faith. And they want you to trust this process that has been painful for you. And move on into this new dawn, this new life. Yeah. It was a real pleasure to read for you. If you like this, if it resonates somehow, please give me the thumbs up, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, so you always know when I post a new video. Please comment. Uh, by commenting, um, you are supporting my channel. Uh, you can even leave me a suggestion for what you would like to watch in my next video, my next reading. Uh, in the description box of this video, there is a link to another video of mine. And it is a simple and easy ritual to cut the cord and to remove someone for good from your life. Until the next time, my dear. Bye. Hello again. So whoever chose pal number two with the desert rose and this cornucopia, this amulet represents abundance. Let's see who this person is. Ooh, Ace of Swords. Could be someone, yes, Ace of Air or Ace of Swords. Could be someone that you're not speaking to anymore. Someone who might feel left out in the cold. You might have um, distanced yourself from this person. Eight of Swords. Oh, the devil. Major Arcana 3, the Empress, Four of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Card number 
13 in the Lenormand, the child. Six of Wands, Three of Wands. Okay, let me have a look. Let me adjust the camera. Okay, so. Okay, now, it's the five parts. Who is this person? Four of Wands. This person is someone that you might have been in a relationship with, a love relationship with. This could be someone that you still are in a relationship with and the two of you have decided to take a break. Here with the Five of Pentacles, Eight of Swords, Ace of Swords, the Devil and also Three of Wands, Six of Wands. Let me adjust the camera. Yeah, um, I feel that there is some physical or geographical distance between you and this person. And I would say for the majority, um, here with Ace of Swords and the Eight of Swords, you came to this reading because you used to talk to this person every day or on a daily basis and all of a sudden silence you're not talking it could be because the two of you had a disagreement or some sort of argument this is going to resonate with only some of you. Here we've got the uh, Major Arcana number three, the Empress, in the beautiful Osho Zentero. And funny enough, whoever picked this pile, that's amazing. Um, I don't believe in coincidences. Here we have the Cornucopia. And here the Empress. Both of these symbolize abundance. So I would say some of you, not all of you, you have a family with this person. Here the Empress, the Child, and here in the Six of Pentacles. Oh, so whoever this is, um, you might be separated from this person. Um, you might be taking a break from this person. There is, I feel, geographical or physical distance between the two of you, also emotional distance. And that's why we have here the Eight of Swords and also the Five of Pentacles. This is being um, imprisoned in your own thoughts, going back and forth. Yes, being really anxious. Five of Pentacles, this is feeling left out in the cold. And if you have children with this person, you might only talk about that when necessary or exchange here with the Six of Pentacles some sort of communication like a text message. And I feel that you came to this reading because you want to know if you should give this person a second chance or if you should just cut them out of your life for good and start anew for some of you it's going to mean in the future that you will need to get divorced from this person or legally separated from this person yes because not all of you who have come to this reading are married so uh, for those of you who live with this person and have children with this person, you are thinking, you are pondering whether you should take that next step, which is, and especially here with the Ace of uh, Swords, completely cut them out of your life, completely remove this person, get divorced, get separated, and move away from this person. 
some of you, I feel, not all of you, you are actually here with the Three of Wands and Six of Wands looking for a new place. Yes, that's it. Four of Wands. Look, now, now it makes sense to me. Three of Wands, Four of Wands, and then here we've got the Six of Wands. So the only card missing in the sequence is the Five of Wands, which... Uh, the way I see it would mean interference. So three of wands, four of wands, six of wands. Some of you have moved house. So now you live in, you live away from this person and in a different city, state, country, a different place. And some of you, you are actually looking at homes where you could move to. So you're talking to someone, this could be a real estate agent, this could be also um, here with the Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. You could be looking at ads because you are searching for a new home. So yeah, some of you came to this reading because, um, or you were drawn to this reading because you are look at that eight of swords this woman actually has a book or something written in her hands some of you are very close to making a decision but you but but you haven't made that final decision to yes to just Cut this person completely out of your life and move on and move away from them. So for you, it's not just removing this person from your life. For some of you, it's actually changing your marital status. This is actually moving away from this person. And for most of you, that's exactly what you're going to do. You will, however, for the sake of your children, for those of you, who do have a child or children with this person, for the sake of your children, your family, you want the Four of Wands, the child, um, the Empress and the Six of Pentacles, you will still maintain some form of contact with this person. Why should viewer of pile number two? Ah, so up until now, if uh, any of this has resonated, please continue watching. If not, Please choose another pile. Please also like, share, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you uh, never miss a new video of mine. Um, comment in the... Yes, please write a comment in the comment section. Um, what topic would you like to suggest? Um for a future video yes maybe you have an idea for a pick a pile or any sort of reading actually Now, that is no coincidence. Three cards that refer to talking or to some sort of communication. So you have here talking, interested, conversing more, what does this say? Where are my glasses? A weighted message arrives. So interested, conversing more. A weighted message arrives. Text, call, email, hoovering. And she's um, at her laptop. So if this is an ex, they are definitely keep, keeping an eye on you. Girl talk, time with friends, moving on, 
happily single, living in the moment, having fun. Oh yeah, some of you have decided to put an end to this relationship and you're really looking forward to uh, being single and, you know, restarting your life and you somewhere else. Love call. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you and letting you know. So, for some of you, not all of you, your ex is still uh, keeping an eye on you. Once in a while, they call you because it seems to me that they are trying to reel you in. And that's why you are so confused, because you're thinking to yourself, okay, this love relationship, this marriage, this friendship, oh, my, my neighbors, <laughs> I'm going to pause the video. Okay, so those fireworks, I would say, are confirmation for, from spirit. That's a sign right there. This person might um, try to reel you in. It seems to me that this you're not talking to this friend anymore. You're not talking to this person anymore. And once in a while, they will do something like... Um, Put a like on one of your photos uh, on social media. They will send you once in a while a cryptic message. It could be related to the family you have together. They're just sending you mixed signals. And maybe that's why you are watching this video. Because you're thinking to yourself, wait a minute, things are over. Okay? So why do they still want to talk to me? And just as you are moving away and moving on, that's when, again, they try to reel you in. That obviously is going to resonate with only some of you. This could, yes, be someone you used to be in a love relationship with, but this could also be someone who you used to be a close friend with. Yes, you used to be co close friends, you and this person. And since the separation, and since you have uh, yes, stopped talking to this person, you feel that it's time to ascend to a new phase in your life, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, preparing for union. Yes, the only way we can invite or welcome the new into our lives is by Cutting out from our lives what no longer serves us. I know this because of the Ace of uh, Swords. And whatever no longer serves us, yes, can be a toxic relationship. Major Arcana 15, the devil. Uh, could also be a toxic friendship. Toxic habits. Bad habits, yes. For some of you, it could be something like, for instance, overspending. This person left you depleted, and for some of you, even financially depleted. And here we have self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. So why should you finally make that decision to cut this person from your life or remove this person from your life? Whether this is a, f an, a former or ex-friend, ex-boyfriend, ex-girlfriend, ex-husband, ex-wife, ex-partner. This could also be someone from your own family, a relative. Why should you cut this person out? You should because that's when the healing process starts. That's when you will transform. The butterfly, relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child, growth. 
your life will take new yes your life will finally take off or you will finally be moving on into a new phase of new opportunities new friendships and even a new relationship once you cut this person out oh yes for some of you you used to be married to this person or in a committed uh, relationship or long-term relationship mirror mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection and that explains why we have here the eight of swords and also this card the three of wands I see some of you looking into a brand new future, looking into the horizon, thinking, it's time. It's time for me to move on. Yeah, and for some of you, you know what? This is what's going on in your life. Uh, sometimes your friends, they try to um, invite you out. Um, they try to say things like, girl, you should just go out and let your hair down and have fun, you know. Or you can have male friends telling you things like, um, yes, male friends, or you could be a man watching this video and your friends say, man, you know what, you need to go out, you need to just have fun do something like, I don't know, go and watch a football match, a baseball match, I don't know, something like that. However, you've, you, you've, you're in this phase where, some of you obviously, not all of you, where you're like, no man, I'm not going out, I'm not, you know what, yes, Yes, your, your uh, friends phone you, or even relatives, trying to convince you that it's a good idea to go out. But some of you are reluctant. You're hesitant to do that. Sometimes you think to yourself, oh my Lord, I just, I prefer staying here at home. I don't want to go out. Do I really need to get dressed and go out? Yes, yes. If I were you, well, let me be, um, uh, let me be, um, honest with you, um, page of cups, somebody receiving phone calls, yes, you will be happier. So as I was, was saying, let me be honest with you, I am no one to tell you what to do because I'm not you, but what I can do is show you what might be hidden from you. Your spirit guides, your ancestors, I feel, want to tell you it's time for you to move on, to be happy, to self-indulge, again to focus on yourself, yes, Time to heal. Time to heal, my dear. Time to give yourself all of that love and care that you are so ready to give others. Again, the Six of Wands. What else does a viewer of trial number two need to know? What do their spirit guides and ancestors want them to know? I love this tarot. This is the Santa Muerte tarot. Yes, the Hierophant. You will have peace again. Page of Swords. They will try to communicate with you. They're keeping an eye on you. But it's over. Major Arcana 13, Death. And here, Major Arcana, five, the Hierophant. 
Yes, it's over. And this is a very transformative time of your life. Uh, in the Osho's in Tarot, this card, Major Arcana 13, is not even entitled Death. It's entitled Transformation. And if I put these three cards together, the Death card, the Hierophant, and the Page of Swords, what do you see? I see someone going to the civil register and signing divorce papers. Your spirit guides, your ancestors, what they would like to tell you or let you know is it is time for you to seriously, seriously consider that option. Some of you are still thinking about this beautiful family that you have with this person. However, for the sake of this family, yeah, this is something you must seriously give thought to. Because ultimately, what does a child want? A happy mother, a happy father. Yeah? Someone capable of um, filling their own cup. Yeah? This reminds me of what happens when you travel by plane. Uh, when... Um, the flight attendants, isn't it, uh, right at the beginning before taking off, um, they explain that in case there is an emergency, first you should put the mask on yourself and then your children. Why? Because if you don't have any air, if it's difficult for you to breathe, if your life is in danger, how can you help your children huh? or your child? Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords again, yes, 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 and Five of Cups, yes. And here we have uh, the High Priestess and the Hanged Man. Yes, you are in a pause or separated from this person. And Eight of Swords, you are still thinking, what should I do next? Should I give this person another chance or should I just call it quits? And yeah, Five of Cups, some of you are still, in a way, attached to the past. In the Osho Zen Tarot, this card is entitled Apego al Pasado, Attachment to the Past. And yes, Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, it's time to again go out. Enjoy life. Because as soon as you remove this energy from your life, the stagnant energy from your life, we have a lot of cards here that um, indicate stagnancy, silence, distancing, yes, physical, geographical, and also emotional distancing from someone. Some of you are lonely. Yeah. And as soon as you remove the stagnant energy from your life, you are ready to welcome the new. In the description box of this video, um, I'm going to leave a link uh, to another video of mine. Um, it is um, about how to easily and quickly cut the cords and remove someone from your life. A little uh, ritual that you can easily do at home. It was a pleasure reading for you. If you like this, please give me the thumbs up, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any reading of mine or any video of mine also um, please comment this video by doing so you are um, you are supporting my channel uh, tell me what you think of this reading and what um, topic would you like to see in a future uh, video of mine so until the next time have a nice day
uh, a good evening and I'll see you soon. Bye. Hello again. So for those of you who chose pile number three with the pyrite and the dragon amulet, who do you need to remove or cut out from your life? Seven of Wands, the Star, Major Arcana 17, Eight of Cups, Four of Wands, Four of Swords. Here with the Eight of Cups and the Star, I feel for most of you, you, you know this person, okay? So you know this person and there is physical or geographical distance between you and this person. Eight of Cups, this is um, walking away from something or someone that no longer serves you. The star, this is um, following your intuition and this is moving away and most times moving to a new place. The star is being also guided by our own inner intuition, yes, uh, our own inner voice, our spirit guides, our ancestors. This also means that you are being protected from this person. Why do I say that? Because here we've got seven of five of seven of, of wands in the regular tarot this is by the way from the dreams of gaia tarot and i see most of you having to put boundaries and having to block this person or um yes block this person why this person is not totally honest with you they might be shady false sometimes deceitful man or woman what else can I say about this person this person might have a pet cat or two pet cats they might really love cats they are physically attractive. Um, here with the butterfly. I feel that this person likes tattoos. Also with uh, these designs on this bowl. They might be into uh, singing bowls, uh, yoga. Ooh. Ooh. They're keeping an eye on you. Maybe on social media. You feel that somehow you need to keep away from this person. Yes. Seven of Wands. The Star. Eight of Cups. If your intuition and you have been receiving signs from your spirit guides. If your intuition is saying that you need to protect and guard yourself from this person is because you know deep, deep down in your gut this person is not to be trusted. Four of Wands, I feel that your spirit guides and here also together with the star, your spirit guides, your ancestors are protecting you from this person. Four of Wands, this could be a relative, so someone um, you grew up with. This could be someone you used to be in a love relationship with. Or this could be a friend who you, in the past, considered family. Four of Wands, Seven of Wands. This person might have strong fire in their chart. So that's Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Four of Swords. Oh, the card that comes before this is the Three of Swords. Oi! <laughs> Pardon me. 
My neighbors are uh, launching fireworks. I'm going to pause just for a moment. Okay. Um, so as I was saying, the card that comes before this is the Three of Swords. This person disappointed you, broke your heart, uh, whoever they are. Uh, and yeah, you are healing from that. And the fact that we heard fireworks, that's just confirmation from spirit that yes, uh, they, they really hurt you. Um, they might have been deceitful and you felt the need to put up boundaries, to protect yourself and to move away from this person. Um, it might have happened une unexpectedly and that's why um, I was startled when I first heard that cracker or firework. Sometimes you still think about this person. Why? Because you had an emotional connection with this person, isn't it? You had feelings for, for this person. You considered this person family. Yeah? And think about it. Who betrays us or who um, deceives us, disappoints us? Not a stranger. Someone we know. Yes. Oh, yes, yes. Here, Three of Pentacles and the High Priest or Hierophant, Major Arcana number five. You used to be in a love relationship with this person. Or this could also be a relative. This could be a very close friend. And it might have been someone that you know for a long time. Here in the Lenormand, we have card number one, the rider. And here, Ace of Pentacles. And here, Major Arcana. Number 12, the Hanged Man. So it seems to me, this relationship this connection, yes, this family connection, or this love relationship, this friendship is on a pause. However, something unexpected happened and you were not, um, you were not, you were not expecting this. You were not expecting this. What happened? All of a sudden you received a message from them Ace of Pentacles and the Rider in the Lenorma. At first it seemed to, to you a sign of hope. Notice here both the Lenorma card, from yes, the Lenorma Oracle card, and this card from the Osho Zen Tarot. Both of them represent a rainbow. So at first, when you receive this text message, this email, this uh, DM, this phone call for some of you, at first you thought, hmm, there's a sign of hope. Maybe, just maybe, here with the star card, because this is a card of healing, and here with the Hierophant, this is uh, a card of reconciliation. Maybe, just maybe, we could have a new start. We could get back together. Here with the Ace of Pentacles, I see for some of you, you received an apology. Or even for some of you, a gift. And Four of Wands, Four of um, Pentacles, and it says here, Postergacion, in Spanish, if I had to translate that uh, from Spanish to English, it would mean looking forward or looking into the future, pondering. It left you quite introspective and you don't know if you should actually make peace with this person or not or else you wouldn't be watching this video, would you? 
However, it seems to me here with the star card and the four of wands especially. And also here the high priest, major arcana five, as well as the three of pentacles. This is receiving downloads from the 5D, from your spirit guides, from your ancestors. Your spirit guides and ancestors, they feel that you would have a better life away from this person or if you removed this person from your life. Let's confirm. Why should viewer of pile number three remove this person from their life or cut this person away from their life? Yes. Why? Why am I cutting the cards like this? Separation. Not today. Passion. Lightning. What was I saying? Uh, and no wonder, uh, after uh, preparing the piles, I shuffle these cards and put them back. And what we have here, the tower, Major Arcana 16. Something unexpected happened. Look at that lightning. Um, and yet, that's why we have here lightning. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, epiphany, upheaval, transformation. It seemed to me that, and you were not expecting this you were startled just like i was startled when i heard um the fireworks outside something happened you received a phone call do you see that picture that person is holding the telephone away from them you received a phone call or a message and it put you thinking it put you in this introspective state now, you don't know whether you should accept this gift or this um, apology or this, um, this reconciliation. Not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, a call or person. Boundaries still angry. And what is putting you in the state of um, uncertainty? Passion, insane chemistry, like each other, equally having fun. If this is a friend that you have fallen out with, you used to have lots of fun together. If this is someone you used to be in a love relationship with or... Or a friend or ex yes, a friend or a lover, a partner, so this could be husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend, that you are in a pause with. Um, there is chemistry there. There is passion. But your spirit guys and your ancestors, they want to warn you. They want to shake you up and they are giving you signs and, and they've been giving you signs that that is not enough. That you need more than just chemistry to have a good um, relationship with this person, with this friend. You need Commitment from this person. Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and sure of the future. That was exactly what I was saying. And what do you see here in the Four of uh, Swords? You see someone still looking 
Um, you see this person looking outside of the, the window, still reminiscing. Still reminiscing and thinking, how am I going to move on without this person? How am I going to have a future without this person? Your spirit guides, I, I would say, here with the um, star card, are telling you that they have your back. You will be guided into a new future. And you came to this, oh my Lord, look at that, the Grim Reaper. The relationship is over. No second chances. What does this say? Let me see. Let me put my glasses on. Grow and transform your life. Oh Lord. As I was about to shuffle these cards again. Look what we have. Oh. Yes. Talking. Interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email, hoovering. Yes, you moved away from this person or you put this relationship on pause. You took a break from this person or you separated from this person. And all of a sudden you received some sort of communication from them and now you don't know what to think. But your spirit guides are trying to warn you. They're trying to warn you. They're trying to say that. Um, do you really want to give this person who hurt you so much a second chance? This person who was deceitful? Or else why would they come with gifts and an apology? Why? The card that comes before this is the Three of Swords. What else does... Viewer of pile number three. Yes, what else do the spirit guides and ancestors of the viewer of pile number three want them to know? What else does the viewers, spirit guides, and ancestors want them to know? What else are they trying? To warn the viewer about. If you like this, if it resonates, please give me the thumbs up, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you never miss a future video of mine. Comment in the yes, please write in the comments section what you think of this video and do you have an idea for a future video of mine? Possibly a reading or pick a pile, a topic for a pick a pile. Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Six of Pentacles. Ace of Pentacles again. Four of Swords. Hmm. Page of Wands. Three of Cups. The Wheel of Fortune. Ace of Swords. And Ace of Wands. Ten of Pentacles. And the Death Card. Yes, Knight of Swords, Page of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles. This person tried to regain balance or tried to recon reconcile with you by sending you a message, by giving you some sort of apology. Uh, for some of you, they tried to uh, gift you. They gifted you something. Oh, they gave you a present. 
I try to impress you for some. Four of Swords, again, that is, when cards repeat like that, that's just Source of Spirit uh, reinforcing the message. They say it's time to heal your broken heart. It's time. Why? Because it's over with the death card. And because it's over, it's time for you to cut out again. Where is this? Did I see? Oh, no. The Ace of Pentacles has repeated. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands. It's time to cut out the BS from your life. It's time to cut out from your life what no longer serves you and move on. Here, Ace of Wands, a passionate brand new beginning. Ace of Swords, the truth shall set you free. This is the beginning of something new. What? What is the something new? It's the Ten of Pentacles. A stable life. For some of you, this relationship or friendship has depleted your finances. And what is in store for you? Because the Wheel of Fortune is turning. Yeah? Time is on your side. Things are changing. For the better. As soon... This is what your spirit guides want to say to you. Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, as soon as you cut out this person from your life, as soon as you realize, where is it, that it's over and that you are birthing something new in your life. In the Osho's Zinto, this card is not even entitled Death, it's entitled Transformation. Hmm? What is going to occur? As soon as you cut out this person or this toxic um, uh, energy, the stagnant energy from your life, a new beginning awaits you. A stable future. Yeah. And then, Three of Cups, you will transform in such a way you will have this glow up where you will want to celebrate and you will want to put yourself out there again make new friendships who knows start a new relationship and for some of you with the three of cups what your spirit guides and ancestors now let me say that again for some of you what your spirit guides and ancestors want you to know is the next time this person tries to gift you, to apologize, to talk to you, next time this person tries to reconcile and come, in Portuguese we've got an expression for that, botinha come with um, little woolly... Uh, <laughs> Uh, yes, woolly feet or woolly uh, socks. Next time they try to, you know, convince you that it would be a good idea to uh, continue from where you left things. They want to remind you, remember how this person broke your heart and remember why. Because you were not a priority in their life. For some of you, let me say that again, for some of you, there is here the interference of a third party. Yeah? Oh, now I noticed another uh, synchronicity. Oh, look at that, as I was saying, that... The Osho Zen Tarot, uh, yeah, in the Osho Zen Tarot, this card is not even entitled um, Death, it's entitled Transformation. Look at that. Relationship evolving into the next phase, healing the inner child growth, the butterfly. Yes, it's time to heal, it's time to grow, 
is it, oh look at that, two butterflies, yes. And who knows, with relationship evolving to the next phase, who knows, yes, with the three of cups that, um, some of you recently, you've, you know, started putting yourself out there again, started making new friendships, yes, it's time for new friendships, new relationships in your life, a new phase, coming out of the cocoon, especially for those of you who have been cooped up in your homes. Notice another synchronicity here, isn't it? The Grim Reaper and this card, look at that, wow, this is the uh, a card from the Santa Muerte Tarot and this is uh, a card from the Island Time Wellness Love Oracle. So two different decks and notice how similar. They want you to realize it's over and look at that, the snake, do you see that? Snake here, snake there. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder, the other woman. Ooh. That's why I was saying, for some of you, some of you, I'm picking up on third party interference. Okay, so I hope you liked this uh, reading. If you did, please give me the thumbs up, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, comment this video. By doing so, you are supporting my channel. Yes, uh, in the comment section, write to me what you uh, feel about this uh, reading. And also, who knows, um, you might have an idea for um, a future video. Uh, f yes, a topic for a future video. What would you like me to delve into? Um, what else would I like to say? Uh, in the description box of this video, uh, I'm going to leave a link to another video of mine. It is a video where I teach you uh, a simple and quick ritual uh, to cut the cords if you wish to finally um, move away uh, and move on uh, from what happened in the past. So, uh, cut the cord kind of ritual. So, um, I'll see you soon. Until then, um, I wish you the very best. Bye.